seven and one in 1989. It was an interesting, exciting, a lot of big plays in this football game, Coach Majors. Well, uh, it was a, a lot to offer a lot of people. It was a beautiful <laughs> day to play football on a lovely autumn day, and a great crowd of uh, around 91,000 capacity, and, and a little bit of everything in football. We had the halfback pass for a touchdown, and uh, play action passes for touchdowns, long passes, short ones, some good running on the part of Webb, and some outstanding blocking, which we've had this year. And interceptions uh, for a change. That was very pleasing. I love that. And even an interception for a touchdown. I don't remember the last time I've seen that. But that was a lot of exciting things. And um, a good balance. Our defense came uh, to the front, got better as, as the game went along. A two way player, Carl Pickens, added some extra excitement to the football game. And I throw back to the old 72 football days. In fact, as I came off the field, I, I came in uh, right behind Carl going to the locker room. I said, Carl, do you think you could handle a double header today? And he said, yes, sir, coach, I'd be ready to go. I think he could have played two ball games both ways. He's that type of person. Well, we're going to be seeing one ball game, and it's an exciting one, and we'll pick it up right at the start as Tennessee plays Akron in Knoxville. And this will be Greg Burke to kick it off. And here to tell you about it, the coach of the volunteers, Johnny Majors. Well, Greg Burke has certainly been a, a fine addition to our football team this year. We have good coverage on that kickoff, and I thought our kickoff, kick coverage and the kickoffs and the punch was a very encouraging, a lot of good aggressive play. McCluskey made the tackle after the 17-yard return. Akron's quarterback, number seven, is Johnson. They're wearing white jerseys, Tennessee, of course, and the home orange jerseys, as this will be Johnson handing off to the tailback, Alston up the middle for a gain of six yards. So speaking of excitement, a lot of uh, different things in the ball game. Uh, Akron gave us some excitement at different times, too. Their quarterback, Johnson, is a very impressive athlete. Vincent Taylor was running and throwing, and I thought they had a good attack set up for us. But there were some problems early in the ball game, but our defense did get better. In fact, the defense got us out of a couple of three real dangerous holes that our offense got us into the tournament. It's third down three, the pass is incomplete. Intended for Taylor, had it for a moment, but not long enough. And so on fourth down, in the punt will be Rudison. That ball was thrown slightly behind me, but at least we had two defenders real close to the ball, two linebackers on each side of the, of the receiver. Punt taken by Thomas Woods. He's looking for an alley. It looked like we came it in. This is right there. It doesn't look like it in the film, but we came it in just a few feet back at all. Absolutely. Well, getting, to, getting to the wall. As it is, Tennessee takes over at the 26-yard line. Game just getting underway, and this will be the tailback from Toledo, Ohio, against Akron, and this was Webb carrying for three yards. Well, he has that outstanding talent and ability. He's strong, he's quick, he's fast. And he Great pass, play. Anthony Morgan. Um, surprise that coming. Barely. Oh, for <laughs> That's a beautiful play. The catch from behind, barely made by Jackson. Let's take a second look at the screen pass from Kelly, number eight, to M Morgan, number 80. Good execution. Good fake to the match, and also good job of the line. There's Steele out there on the 79, and also Anton Davis on the 78, leading the play, and very good wall set up for uh, Anthony Morgan. Barely there, you see, just tripped up a game of 49 yards for Anthony Morgan, and Tennessee has it at the 32-yard line for First down. Pitch. This will be Chuck Webb. This is Chuck Webb. Webb. That shows his strength. That shows his great speed and good pass ability. Touchdown, Big Island. As Chuck Webb rambles in, 32 yards to score, and Tennessee moves 74 yards in three plays. Another look. He's got a good natural ball in there. Now I've never seen so in the sweet book to uh, run all the way. He's going to break several to Tennessee in my opinion. I think this young man has a bright career ahead of him. He loves to play, and I tell you what, he will not back away from the challenge. He's not afraid of anything. He's, he's a tough competitor. Downfield blocking, incidentally, number 15 was Pickens and also Cleveland making the final blocks as Webb goes into score, and Tennessee leads 6 to nothing. and here's Greg Burke to attempt the extra point. It's good. And so Tennessee leads by a score of seven to nothing. That drive, one minute, three seconds. Man, I'm glad you missed it about the down for the block. I normally call, call, call that uh, to uh, attention. Kippy Brown does an outstanding job of really inspiring his people to do that. Plus, he has, he has quality people to work with. They're a great bunch of guys. Those are the receivers are. Come on, oh, oh, Shazan Bradley. Shazan will call it on the balance. He's got his hands, so he didn't want to do with it. But you, you can't advance a fumble in college football. You can't advance one on defense in, in the professional ranks and also in high school. Big game by Alston, but then he's popped. 
Number 226, there got the hand on the ball after uh, Denson came from the other way. Bennett, Bennett, the safety man, and also Denson. Right. Bennett was the man who actually caused the fumble, and Denson hit from the other side. So Tennessee's got it first down, and here, once again, Chuck Webb, who came into the game with 635 yards rushing, gain of seven yards, second down three at the Another good example of a good blocking up front. Our offensive line is one of the quality offensive lines in this country. I don't think there's a better one, in my opinion, the way they played this year uh, thus far. So there's the run by Webb for the first down and 10 just outside the 10-yard line. Tennessee leading 7 to nothing. Hole stopped for nothing. Mays, the man making the tackle for the Zips, and so it will be second down and 10 at the Akron 10-yard line. Kelly, pitch, fumble, recovered by Akron. Clark makes the recovery. Well, that's why I hate to see that for many reasons. Uh, we had a chance to really get a... a, a, a decided lead right here early in the ball game. That's not our personality. Our running backs have not fumbled all year long until this ball game and we lost two. That was the first one right there that the running backs have fumbled throughout the eight games, but here comes Akron right back with a pass from Johnson to Thomas for 23 yards. This is yeah. Johnson knocked down by Hobby. Very well played with the option play. We had somebody else in the pitch outside. Our linebacker was ready. Let's take another look at the play by the senior, Marion Hobby. He whipped the wall, he whipped the, uh, the load block. So Akron trailing 7 and nothing comes to the line. First quarter of the game at Knoxville. It is a beautiful, beautiful November afternoon. We were going to come when that was a game to do it in, but it uh, really took us out of some of our sick. And we can't afford to do it anymore this season with the three teams we're playing down the line. As complete, Thomas makes the catch, and Thomas moves forward for a gain on the play of 15 yards. Thomas has had a fine year. That was his 27th catch of the season. Uh, Akron has some good football players. And here's one of them on the draw. This is Halston running straight ahead. Finds some room. He dashes for 14 yards, and the ball is all the way down to the Tennessee seven-yard line where it's first down and goal. This is, a, this is a great drive on their part. Outstanding. Good ball control. Mixing up the pass and the run and the option game. Carrying the ball this time, Halston for two more. It's second down and goal at the five-yard line. Akron has kept the ball over six minutes in this drive. Down about the three. Well, the good thing about this uh, ball game, John, we get to play with so many people. I'd say first for everyone played except those who are red-shirted. So the score is seven to nothing, but Akron's got it third down and goal. I think we're going to see a linebacker miss an assignment right here and fail to pick up his man. Man the man's complete. Man the man's coverage, and we didn't pick up our assigned man. The linebacker didn't. A second look at the pass as the left-hander. Rips the pass into the end zone. Diving grab made by Alston, and Akron is on the board. We've got seven to six. We've had some trouble with our pass defense, and certainly our goal line pass defense lately. The extra point is missed. It wanders off to the left as the first quarter comes to a close, and Tennessee leads by a score of seven to six. We'll take a look at more in the first quarter. At more comments from Johnny Majors coming up in just a moment. of vengeance. The Corleone family ruled the underworld kingdom. Now we have the unions, we have the gambling. The Corleone family wants to buy you out. I'm going to make them an offer to gamble. Marlon Brando, Al Pacino, Robert Duvall, and Diane Kinson in the epic film classic The Godfather. Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock on Fox 30. Making an inexpensive motorhome that's a Winnebago. That's a real battle. Introducing the Warriors. They've won the right to be called Winnebagos. Davis Motorhome Mart, Mid South's largest motorhome dealer, 1145 East Brooks Road at Elvis Presley Boulevard. At First American, we take pride in giving our customers what they want. We have to keep certain assets liquid. We find the fair account at First American to give us the best opportunity of, of achieving an income while retaining the liquidity. I feel like I am one of the most important customers in there. I feel like that they are giving me their undivided attention and I never feel hurried or rushed. I feel like I'm really important. 
American International Rent-A-Car can help you get away for the day in comfort and style. Our 15 passenger vans are perfect for youth organizations, church outings, or any large group activity. We rent quality built Chrysler Motors products such as the Dodge Grand Caravan and you always get current model vehicles. You can rent seven passenger minivans at American International special affordable rates. So call today for your advanced reservations 345-2440 and get away for the day on American International Rent-A-Car. No little cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, stay close a little longer, hold tight a little longer, longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness lasts right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. While you chew it, say goodbye a little longer, make it last a little longer. Give your breath long lasting freshness. It's the first quarter of the game between Tennessee and Akron. The Volunteers jumped off to a 7-0 lead, but then a long drive, 87 yards by Akron. It's 7-6 after the missed extra point. Let's pick up the action now as Tennessee has taken the ensuing kickoff. It's at the 36-yard line of the Volunteers. First down and 10 to go. 7-6 to six to score. It's a left, John. Uh, John. It, was, it was good to be back home for change. You know, we've been gone for over four weeks. <laughs> it's been so you know. <laughs> This is Webb's Webb around the left side of the line for 20 yards, six carries, 65 yards already for the freshman from Toledo. Well, you see Roland Poles and, and Eric Steele leading with that, plus the lineman up there that you can't see, and there's Terrence Cleveland trying to block down field. He, uh, he delayed the halfback, but Chuck could pick up another 10 or 15 that additional valuable yardage. So the move of uh, the ball down to the 44-yard line of Akron gives Tennessee the ball first down and 10 to go, leading 7-6 to six in the first quarter at Knoxville. I'll tell you what, there's, there's just outstanding leadership in that offense. Of that outstanding leadership and his outstanding leadership in our receiving corps. That's a quality group of young men. You're talking about good students, good athletes, conscientious workers, and blockers, and their receivers. And those the alignment up front are just a, a, a great group to work with. Phil Foreman's group will rarely have a, a first distance problem. He, he normally knows how to handle them. He knows how to recruit, he knows how to coach, and his team normally knows how to act. That it's pass good. to Morgan was complete but out of bounds, and here's Kelly looking downfield for a senior, and it is touchdown, Thomas Wood. Uh, beautiful, beautiful thrown pass. Andy has a good touch in the ball. He has a good touch in the long run, the intermediate game, and also the short one. Good fake kill for the option game. Down the line, he really sold the option on that with Webb and Pose and Andy Kelly. And the long pass downfield to the senior from Gallatin, Tennessee. And it is TD, TD. Well, Bill, you know, I talked about the other aspects of the play. And I guess you, uh, you, you've got to be careful to take this guy out of the game. I've never taken a TD this game. You just expect uh, excellence from him all the time. He is, he is uh, as good as college football has. Tennessee has stopped Akron after the extra point by Burke. And now the Volunteers have the football. And this is the pass downfield. Intercepted. Intercepted. It was intended for Angela and Wolf has intercepted the ball and has returned it down to the Tennessee 13-yard line. Well, we get a uh, little bit of room and then we don't. Uh, that was an excellent interception. You know, we can't throw that one uh, naturally. But the strong safety made an outstanding play. Came underneath the throw. Very little play. So Akron rams straight up the middle with Alston carrying and making the tackle hobby. There is no gain. It will be second down and 10 at the Tennessee 13. The Volunteers leading by a score of 14 to 6. But Akron is threatening. Mike Johnson, the left-hander, shifts into the shotgun. Two wide outs to the left side. Back to throw, looking into the end zone. Incomplete, intended for Singletary. There you see the ball ricochet off the goalpost and was caught by the volunteer standing there. I was, but I was hoping we'd intercept that ball. I thought we had a chance, but I, I, I couldn't tell. I thought we had a good chance. We intercepted it. We broke at the right angle on it. We made progress, I believe, in our second days, and then we lined back and covered Saturdays. The game went along. Johnson beat Bubba Harder in the off week. And so he stopped short of the first down, and so in to attempt a field goal of 27 yards is Dombrowski, and it is good. But so the score is cut down to 14-9. to nine. That's a good job of the defense really uh, holding to a field goal when we had the interception back and in on the field. Akron stops Tennessee the other way, and the Volunteers punt, and this is Akron at its 32-yard line first down, and the tackle of Alston is made by Days, a second look. For a young man from Ohio, Kelly Days is from Dayton, Ohio, one of the uh, outstanding young men we have from uh, the state of Ohio. We have quite a few from New York, from that great state of uh, for us football players. And okay, that's, on the that's, late, uh, that's loaded with talent. So it's second down and 10 at the Akron 32-yard line. 
Tennessee leads 14 to 9, but Akron has been able to move with the ball rather consistently. Here's the pressure. That, that's a good job. You know, we didn't quite have, we're not quite close enough to really get him down that time. Looks like it's going to be a two yard loss. He turns it into a, a no loss situation. There's a shotgun tip by oh, Russ. Intercepted. Right. This is Carl Pickens. Terrific play. Pickens breaks the tackle into the end zone to score. Not only uh, does it take an outstanding athlete to make that catch, number one, but he knows that turning into a touchdown is just uh, a, a, an athlete with exceptional ability, which he has. Another look. There you see the tip by Truss. Good hands. Alert play. I'm to, uh, to our coaches. I don't have a tackle that I really uh, that, that, uh, that, that I keep on the practice field, but I would have been called Pickens intercepted more passes in practice than the last week and a half, and he's had any other defensive back in, uh, intercept all year long in practice sessions. Three games, it was Pickens for a touchdown catch as a receiver against Alabama, a kickoff return as the specialty team's returner against LSU, and now playing in his first game as a defensive back, a pass interception and return to give Tennessee see a lead of 20 to 9. And here to attempt the extra point, and that's 25 for 25 by Tennessee's Greg Burke on this season. And the Volunteers lead 21 to 9. The turnaround, the defense, the big interception. Well, it makes so much difference when you play defense. And, uh, you know, you see all the big games that are won in Alabama line. Their defense is terrific. They, 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 they keep you off balance where they play pass defense different ways. And they're, they're front people, rushing people. When defense scores for you, you just have an entirely different outlook, an entirely different football team. Uh, we have a lot of outstanding aspects about our football team, in my opinion, if I may say so. Our defense, if, if our defense uh, intercepts some passes and, and returns kicks and box kicks, it just turns the whole thing around. And all good football teams I've been around had that. That, uh, complete um, play. So Tennessee with a big play by Carl Pickens. The Volunteers lead 21 to 9, but there's still more action to come. We'll have it coming up for you in just a moment. America's most popular compact truck? Well, the Ranger XLT has a 660 powertrain warranty and cast aluminum wheels. The Chevy doesn't. Ford Ranger has anti-lock rear brakes and electronic fuel injection. And Ranger has it all for less money than Chevy. You can bank on it. The toughest competition we have is ourselves. The best built American trucks are built Ford Tough. could become big problems if you put out getting a doctor's advice because you don't know an MD to call. But with St. Mary's personalized physician referral, finding an MD for you is not a big problem. Just call 971-MD-4-U. Easy physician referral with one call to 971-MD-4-U. Another way St. Mary's is caring for you. Fresh, flavor-rich milk satisfying and delicious, and produced right here by your neighbors. From the farm to the grocer's shelf, the milk you buy from us is the finest quality available. Flavor Rich is proud of the fact that their product is locally produced by your neighboring dairy farmers. Farm fresh milk, made right here and brought to you by Flavor Rich. When you have a choice, buy Flavor Rich first. Saturday, November 18th in Neyland Stadium in Knoxville. It's the Ole Miss Rebels versus the Tennessee Volunteers on video seat pay-per-view. Billy Brewer and the Rebels will try to notch their first win over Tennessee since 1983, while Johnny Majors and the Balls continue their quest for a 10-win season. Join Bob Kessling, Ron McCartney, and Archie Manning for all the action as Tennessee takes on Ole Miss November 18th on video seat pay-per-view. Tennessee leads the Akron Zips in the second quarter of the football game. We're ready to pick up the action once again. We're still in the first half, and this is Akron with the football trailing now by a score of 21 to 9. Number seven, Johnson, all the way at quarterback. Uh oh, looks like guys cut our uh, young safety man up too tight. That was not quick as quick as one in the game, but it was, a, it was caught up on the run. You know, you, you can't find a football, get depth. You can't find it, get depth. 
That was a well-executed play. Well-executed for 49 yards all the way to the Tennessee 22-yard line. Here's Austin trying the middle, knocked down by Hobby for no gain. They really, yeah, they really did a good job. They, they, uh, they moved the ball on us uh, from tackle from the end to end, so they were out of the up to make the play is Tayworth on the pitch of the option to Alston. A uh, loss of a yard on the play, so it's third down and 11. Good effort. Tayshia Hayworth really showed good leadership last week in practice. Practice extremely well. This pass intended for Robinson. Incomplete defending was Denson. That's encouraging to see the uh, defenders around the ball more. You know, uh, we had uh, three turnovers Saturday. The defense got for us. So the 8 yard attempt is blocked by number 23 Fields of Tennessee. But, uh, Fields, huh? Another look at the block. As you'll see, there comes field number 23. Fields blocks the ball, and it ricochets down into the end zone. Our defensive uh, staff, Doug Matthews and the defensive staff, thought we could block one against them, uh, and they designed it and worked on it very diligently uh, last week, and it paid off for us. So Tennessee gets the ball back at the line of scrimmage, which was the 23-yard line. Amsler carries the ball from his fullback position for a gain of two. Second down eight, Tennessee leading by a score of 21 to nine. Then you must tell me about the, the, the look of our drives. Uh, you want to talk about that now or you want to do that later? We can talk now. Tennessee in its first touchdown drive, one minute and three seconds. The second touchdown drive, one minute and one second. The last touchdown drive, which we'll see later with Hinton at the controls, 105. And Tennessee's actually in the first half, Coach, total of 27 plays and 28 points. It's a big play. play. We, we made the most of what happened here except the football uh, that we lost down there. That, uh, is Miss Hunter. Here's the pass to Alvin Harper, and Harper turns it on as he rambles forward for a gain of 17 yards in the first down. Well, he almost broke it. He's a, day, he's, he's a good threat when he catches the ball. He's an outstanding athlete. Kelly making the long pass downfield, and it is complete to well, Morgan. I think one thing about that play, that was an outstanding fight. You only held, uh, hit the ball very effectively. The Bucks uh, fight well. Got you. Takes his time setting up. And uh, a very good catch on the part of Anthony Morgan. And very good camera play. work. And what a catch by Morgan, who is injured on the play and Ooh. leaves the game. You see his head hit the turf there. What a concussion. I don't think it's going to be very serious. I hope he'll be able to play this coming week. Webb carries the ball as it was down to the seven-yard line, first down and goal. Tennessee leading 21-9. That pass from Kelly to Morgan good for 45 yards. Here's Chuck Webb. Touchdown. Yeah. Blocking and touchdown, Big Allen. Another first for the red shirt leading there, McCluskey from Southern Tennessee. Right, number 35 leading on the block. Let's take another look at it. And has a good line blocking up front, you can tell. Our tight ends block well, Adams and also uh, Reeves. And the offensive line, of course, continues to play with very good uh, discipline and very good effectiveness. And so Tennessee moves on top as here comes Greg Burke in to attempt the extra point after this drive, which is two minutes and 34 seconds. And for Tennessee in this game, that's a long, long drive. The extra point is up, and it is good. And so Tennessee leads at the end of the first half by a score of 28 to 9. Now let's hear something about your University of Tennessee. You have good students, you get interested in their study. It's fun. I've learned much more from my students than I've ever learned from me. Learning. The best thing about UC is, is learning new things every day and experiencing the people, different people from everywhere. All the different classes that I can take here, all that I can learn. We've got some fine teachers here. We're getting, and we're getting some incredibly fine students. They involve the students in the classes. It's, it's not just quoting verbatim out of a book. I like classes that challenge me. You've got to get to know the students and, and put a little bit of your heart into it. I think that it's my responsibility as a professor to stretch students, to stretch their ability to think critically, to stretch their ability to question. I don't really care if they remember the facts or the dates or this or that. I want them to go out thinking, you raised a point, I, I need to think about that. Learning is not always easy. It's not always comfortable. It's kind of tough, but I'm making it. Tennessee leads Akron at halftime by a score of 28 to 9. We'll have action in the second half coming up in just a moment. Ajax was here. Ajax 
Ajax is here. My beeper doesn't stop, even when I need new glasses. So an hour is all I can spare. That means a quick trip to Lens Crafters. Lens Crafters puts the whole lab right in the store to custom craft your top quality glasses in about an hour. As far as I'm concerned, their craftsmen made them better than the ones that used to take weeks. And they got me back on the road in about an hour. No problem. Lens Crafters. Custom crafted eyeglasses in about an hour. Mall of Memphis. Lower level near pennies. I knew I should read the newspaper, but when? Then I learned how to make news breaks with the commercial appeal. News breaks with the carpool fold. Elevator news breaks with the sardine fold. Meeting news breaks with the boring speaker fold. And the size 8 again fold. Be smart. Make your own news breaks all day long with the commercial appeal. If you haven't read it, it's still news. Hell, yeah, this is your old wide load. Moving them out for Dick Moore Homes. Come on back. All 88s and 89s must go now, and you'll save thousands. How about $147.97 a month for your own three-bedroom? Look at the features. Look at the roominess. Look at the quality. Look at your own three-bedroom home for as little as $147.97 per month. Put the pedal down for Dick Moore Homes before they're all gone. People are waking up to the fact that there's no oat bran in cornflakes. Hey. There's no oat bran in corn flakes. There's no oat bran in Rice Krispies. <sighs> Wake up! If you want oat bran, try Cheerios, the leading cold cereal made from whole grain oats. Wait a minute. There's no oat bran in Raisin Bran. Wake up to Cheerios, the one with oat bran. The Volunteers lead by a score of 28 to 9, and it's Tennessee's decision, and the Volunteers elect to receive to begin the second half. That means Akron will be kicking off, and here you see Alcorn ready to do the kickoff duties as the Volunteers will be moving from the south to the north, and this is Carl Pickens under the ball for return. This is going to look very good. I don't know where we're heading that there, but uh, Carl uh, didn't get much out of that one. I think he can do better than that one. I think when he sees the field, I think he'll probably get another five yards or so. But uh, this is a really a, a, a most encouraging thing here. One of the great developments of the ball game, in my opinion, you know, to talk about it off the air. But um, we took this drive and controlled the football and really established uh, uh, that we were in charge of the ball game. So that was really the first time. So continuity, eating up the clock. Little, little passing, a lot of good running, and exit blocking on the drive for the touchdown. That first pass out to the right side was from Kelly to Victor Moore, and uh, he moved the ball forward. It's a good tackle back. Shut right up on the pitch. You know what, at Victor, I meant Vincent, obviously. Amsley carried the ball, and then the pitch comes to Webb for a gain of four. It's second down and six. We're, 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 very happy have, we're very happy to have this more back with us because he missed the uh, LSU ball game and a very, very sad, tragic uh, death of his brother. He went home to the funeral and be with his family. I think that family was rather close to us. His older brother, Jeff, played for us. Absolutely. Uh, Outstanding receiver. This is Webb carrying the ball as Tennessee is getting back behind that big offensive line, running straight up the middle, and here's Webb again. Because that's definitely a good deception out there because the cameraman got lost. He <laughs> faked well, or handed the ball off well, and he could have faked like it was a pass. There was a penalty at the end of that run, too, so Tennessee's got it first down at the 50-yard line. That offensive line for Tennessee, McRae, Myslinski, Fisher, Still, and Davis, backed up by Hargrove, Smith, Spivey, Baird, Stoll, Lenore. Oh, the one senior. Senior. And that's the uh, Eric Stewart made a good shot right, right there on the, on the, on the off-tackle play. He's got the great players. He's an outstanding senior. Back to number 42. And then the left side, of course, McRae. And uh, I guess Mark Adams was a tight end there. McRae at left tackle. And his list at left guard. One senior. And uh, good leadership up front. A lot of pride. Here's Webb again, carrying the ball straight ahead as Tennessee keeps it on the ground. There was a pass to begin. That pass, of course, starting the third quarter, was complete to Vincent Moore. To the offensive group is early. Here's Amsler. He's going to throw the football. Long pass downfield, and it is touchdown to Moore. You know, I think, I think that Amsler might have, um, could have been an outstanding uh, single-wing tailback. He could put the ball a mile. 
puts it very well. He, uh, he can throw the ball. He also is a big strong runner. And here you see Amsler, the halfback, making the long pass downfield, waiting for it. Vincent Moore, great concentration, and Tennessee's in the end zone with a drive that takes four minutes, 27 seconds, the longest of the day, and the extra point by Burt gives Tennessee the lead 35 to 9. You know, innocent st statistics at halftime, I think they had about 20 minutes, and we had it only 10, 2 to 1. And in the, the end of our game, it was virtually even. I think we had about, about 15 or 20 seconds longer than we did the whole game. So we got it there out for the second half. Tennessee has kicked off. Akron unable to move with the football. Punts it right back to the Volunteers. And here you see the first play after the punt with Chuck Webb That's again Chuck running Webb. the corner. Great run. Excellent job of setting up the uh, potential tackler. I tell you what, he's got a good body there. He'll, he'll take on the tackler. You see if Duck is uh, shoulder there and, 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 and ran it into it. He's moved it from the Tennessee 25 to the Volunteer 45 yard line. It's first down. As Tennessee comes to the line, and here he is again, Chuck Webb to the right side. And good talking in there, but Kimmel's McCuskey. We have to get the secondary there. You see the receivers hustling down the field on the right side of our line. Is that with Eric Steele and also Anton Davis and Mark Adams. So Tennessee picks up another first down to the Akron 44-yard line. The give this time goes to Webb, who went first to the left, then to the right. This time he stopped, but there's a penalty marker on the play. And it will be a 15-yard personal foul step off against the Zips, giving Tennessee the ball first and 10 at the 29-yard line. After was doing some of this, uh, doing a couple late, so they got cut in a couple of times. They've been out of joy and late in the ball game. Webb carries the ball to the left side, and Keyes is there to make the stop after a game, well, actually a loss of about a yard. Back to the 30-yard line, it's second down and 11. Tennessee leading 35 to nine. Kelly rolls to the right side. There's the pass, it is out of bounds, caught by Harper, but Hilt defending forced him wide, so it's third down and 11 at the 30. Put those again with inches, that one's right there, was about 50 inches outside of it, like the Statue of Liberty. And carrying the ball forward for a gain of eight yards, a little that's short. Chuck Webb, that's 19 good. carries, 140 yards. Fourth and three right now, fake for all tackle plays in that power set. And that's a job by, by Andy Kelly, but then the ends are right in the hands. Ends is a good receiver. Yes, very good hands. Made a big catch for us in third and eight against LSU that leads us to one of our touchdowns. Another look as Amsler in the preceding touchdown had passed the ball downfield to Moore for the score, 39 yards, and this one is caught by Amsler, breaks the tackle, and he rambles 20 in on in 22 yards to give Tennessee a 41 to 9 lead. Some good drives here now. We're taking command of the football game. We're not stopping ourselves. We're not making mistakes. And the defense has gotten into it. Our offensive staff has really done a great job organizing our football team, in my opinion. And I think that's a tribute to, to uh, Phil Fulmer's leadership, plus a veteran staff, David Cutcliffe and Kippy Brown and Phil have worked extremely close together. And uh, they know our offense. They've added some uh, expertise and some different things this year. And, and they're doing a great job of communicating among themselves with a new uh, infusion of some new blood, uh, Jim Hoffert, quarterback, and Jack Sawyer's a tight end. They really communicate well in the ball games, and Phil takes charge, but he listens well, and uh, they've handled the, the game plans extremely well. Tennessee leads by a score of 42 to 9. Andy Kelly, the quarterback, of the Volunteers, 9 of 16, two touchdowns in this football game, but there's more to come in the fourth quarter. We'll have it for you coming up in just a moment. Mark and Rennie and little Lindsay are a young family just starting out. They don't have a lot of money for life insurance. I'm their State Farm agent, Gaylord Moosman. Instead of giving Mark and Rennie a big life insurance sales talk, they did a lot of listening. And we came up with a plan that's going to work for their budget and little Lindsay's future, too. State Farm agents are good listeners because we want you to have life insurance you can live with. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. She's all ours. size pickup truck really has the most we put the truck with the biggest standard engine up against the truck with the most standard torque and let them pull and the answer is 
answer is, it's the truck with both. The biggest engine and the most torque. The big Ford pickup. Ford trucks. The toughest competition we have is ourselves. The best built American trucks are built Ford tough. A change to natural gas water heating is a good investment. Look, if you could put $400 into a savings account and get $200 interest every year, that's a great investment. Convert your water heater now from electric to gas and you'll save up to $200 and more every year. Hours of showers for pennies a day. Don't wait for your water heater to go bad before you convert to gas. Every day you wait costs you money. Natural gas. Tennessee leads by 42 to 9 as we're ready to begin the action in the fourth quarter. The Volunteers have stopped the Zips and Tennessee takes over. And at quarterback number 16, Sterling Hitton for the Volunteers at the Tennessee 49-yard line. Hitton back to throw. Good to get Sterling from the playing time. He likes to run, and here you see him dashing downfield for the gain on the play and a first down. 21 yards on the run. Very lightly played by, by him this time. The receivers were ever recovered. He picks up the first down and turns up there like he should. He should have gotten on the ground a little quicker right here to protect himself and also protect the ball. So you see he's got that ball. Tuck that ball down. Get it to be hit. Okay, he tucked it. But get down low. He gains 21 yards and tells us he has the ball at the 30-yard line. The pitch to Chuck Webb. Turning the right side. And rolling downfield. For the game, Webb, 22 there, very, very effectively. 162 yards for the season now, 797 yards. A second look. There's a block with this ball to clear, another block to buy, I believe, a fullback. And the gain of 14 yards by Webb gives Tennessee the ball first down and 10 at the 16-yard line, leading 42 to 9 in the final quarter. There were some new uh, comers in the red, uh, Mike. And, uh, there's a uh, bird at right tackle, the team at tight end. Stole at right guard, who's a freshman red shirt. The carry that time by Webb makes it second down at eight. Larry Smith at left guard. He's a freshman red shirt, so we have a new covers in there. Let's go. There's Tony Thompson, the tailback, as Tennessee used a lot of people in this football game. A gain of seven, but it's short of the first down. So into a tenth of field goal of 29 yards is Greg Burke. And there you see his reaction as it's up, and it's good. And Tennessee leads by a score of 45 to 9. Women taking many snaps, England holes, and that's a good group out there. Gooden's done uh, an excellent job with that punt staff in particular, and a very good job overall with their placement game. And uh, we've never had a better holder than Lee England. He's just really a pretty much a very smart young man. Uh-oh, a little more experience than that knocked that down. The pass was thrown from Johnson, who's still working hard. He's got a very fine arm, and he connects this time to Nelson for a 43-yard game. This is Mike Johnson again, rolling the pass across the middle. It is intercepted. An excellent, uh, an excellent play on their part, but you know, when he threw it back to the, to the defender, the Frank is picking his intent to see him as a uh, knock down right before the ball got there, and that's where he threw it uh, in the, through his hands. So it will be Sterling Hitton back at quarterback, pitching the ball to Tony Thompson. That's good on the left side for a gain on the play of 18 yards. Number one, it's good back in there. I see Pepper Gomez in that right tackle now, and, and Spivey from Jefferson County is in its center. So we get a lot of play from our young people. Put it up now. We only one missed place to turn it up. And a penalty marker flies, as you see there. The yellow flag is down, and Tennessee's going to get a penalty for holding of 10 yards, moving the ball back down to the 28-yard line, where it will be first down and 20. Tennessee leads by a score of 45 to 9. The quarterback is Sterling Hitton. Back to throw. Looking, waiting. Good long pass downfield. It is. Go. And a terrific catch. Two words. Thomas. T.D. Wood, yep, aptly named, T.D. Seven career touchdowns, 108 receptions. Another look. Well, he's had a touch of class always. And when he's in high school at Gallatin, he was a terrific football player there. And the greatest thing about him, he's a, he's a gentleman. He's a gentleman and he's a leader. He loves to practice. He, he's a good example for our squad to follow. Great concentration by Wood and by our camera person as well. Hitton in two passes, both complete. This gives him a total of 77 yards in the ball game and his first touchdown pass of the year as the extra point is up and good. And Tennessee tacks on 52 points to win the football game over Akron. Go ahead. I'm going to miss that. Go ahead. Number five. It's your show. I'm going to miss that number five and that number four at Cleveland. They're just, you can't believe what it's like to coach 
when those top young men are on the practice field. That's what coaching's all about, and I know Kippy Brown's going to miss them. Uh, they're, they're real leaders, and they're just, just terrific all the way around. Thomas Woods, number five, number four. Number four is Terrence Cleveland. Outstanding from members of the, from the Sweetwater, Tennessee. And we'll be visiting with members of the volunteer football team and coaching staff of the locker room in just a moment. Whatever it is out there, it killed Hopper. And now it wants us. Nothing like it has ever been on Earth before. She says the jungle, it just came alive and took him. It kills for pleasure. He was skinned alive. It hunts for sports. Killing us one at a time. Ah! But this time. Please, we can kill it. It's picked the wrong man to hunt. Ah! Arnold Schwarzenegger, Predator, Wednesday on Fox Night at the Movies. Everything you wanted to know about aliens, but were afraid to ask. Any more of this, and I'll need a hot shower. Alien Nation, Monday. You wore it only once a week. Called it your Sunday best. And though you dreamed of dressing like a princess every day, somehow you knew. Part of special oh. is sometimes. At Bob Evans Sausage, we say, if you can't eat sausage every day, you can't eat everyday sausage. So ours is special. Made with the leanest pork, old-fashioned spices, and delivered fresh. Some things never change. Some things never should. Bob Evans Sausage. A double pleasure's waiting for you. A double pleasure for double midgum. A double great feeling, making you realize double is the one for you. A most fantastic eelskin sale. Eelskin only has bought from Going Out of Business Factory in Korea their entire stock of eelskin products and shipped here for immediate liquidation. Imagine try full wallet $9.90, buy full $10.90, clutches $16.90, ladies' bags $35, eelskin accessories at 40% off, plus much, much more at 40 to 50% off. This amazing sale is this Saturday and Sunday only from 10 a.m. till 8 p.m. at Holiday Inn Airport, Brooks Road, this Saturday and Sunday, Holiday Inn. Date rape. Every night it happens to someone. Let's go! Officer Hoffs never dreamed it would happen to her. An unforgettable jump street, Monday. We're in the Tennessee locker room with ball quarterback Andy Kelly. Andy, Tennessee, comes out right away throwing the ball. The uh, pass to Anthony Morgan for a big gainer. Well, that was, uh, it's a setup kind of a screen play when you get the lineman out in front of him getting some blockers. And uh, it's really just a little play action and, and throw it out to him and let him use his speed. And uh, he did a great job of using his blockers and, and turned it into a pretty good play. That would be a good feeling. Three-play drive for a touchdown culminated by the pitch to Chuck Webb for a touchdown. Well, you know, any time you have those jobs, especially to start a game, it's great. Before the play, before I uh, call in the huddle, I told him, you know, be careful with the wind. And he didn't know what the play was. He kind of gave me a crazy look. But once, uh, you know, once I called it, you know, he did a great job of carrying out his fake, and he seemed to do a great job of faking the block and, and releasing. I wasn't really ready for the call. Uh, I just got switched to tailback, and uh, I just I knew I had to fake well, and it was a play that was going to pretty much be wide open, so the, pat, the ball had to be there. It wasn't too pretty a pass, but at least it got there. With me now, Tennessee wide receiver slash defensive back Carl Thickens. Carl, you couldn't have drawn it up any better. Coming into the game today, what a performance in the secondary. Um, coming into the game, you know, I, I really felt that I could help the team. And, you know, that was the only thing on my mind, to go out and, you know, to play the best that I could. And, uh, you know, I was in the right place at the right time, you know, on the play that I intercepted the ball. And, you know, I scored. Talk about that interception. It was it was tipped by Sean Trussman, and you came up with it and then made the run for the touchdown. Um, we were playing a, a cover three, so I was, I was backing up, but I was still reading the quarterback's eyes. And then when I saw him throw it, you know, I, was, I was just breaking on the ball, and then Truss was there to tip it, you know, and I, I just caught it, and I, I knew that I had one other guy to beat, which was the quarterback. 
Paul came in, he played very well. He was uncertain about getting lined up and in position, and I helped him out get lined up. Like I said, once you get them lined up, their talents are going to rise to the occasion, and they're going to make plays. With me now, Sean Truss. And Sean, I guess it's a good feeling for you, a guy like yourself, getting a chance to play today. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, you know, uh, opportunity arose, and I just tried to, you know, the answer, you know, and play and show the coaches what I could do and try to make something happen. We'll be back to hear from the Vol coaches when Big Orange Sunday continues. Why do you choose one bank over another? At First American, we think it has a lot to do with making banking a people business. I think the relationship between a bank and a customer is trust, and I have that trust in First American Bank. I grew up in Middle Tennessee, in a small town, where everybody knew your name, even your banker. And when I came to Knoxville, I never thought that would happen. But at First American, it did. I've been through four banks in the Knoxville area. First American was the first one that took the time to know me as an individual. If you stripped Ford Taurus of all its awards, erased all the glowing reviews, removed all evidence of its presence on the road, and introduced it today, Ford Taurus would still be ahead of its time. When the Rutledge family needs auto, home, life, or health insurance, they see me. I'm their State Farm agent, Billy King. They keep seeing me as I help them keep their coverages up to date without State Farm family insurance checkups. When they have a claim, they see me. And thanks to our checkups, the protection has been there. If you want to see a family insurance agent working for you, see a State Farm agent. And like a good neighbor, since for you. Saturday, November 18th from Neyland Stadium in Knoxville. It's the Ole Miss Rebels versus the Tennessee Volunteers on video seat pay-per-view. Billy Brewer and the Rebels will try to notch their first win over Tennessee since 1983, while Johnny Majors and the Balls continue their quest for a 10-win season. Join Bob Kessling, Ron McCartney, and Archie Manning for all the action as Tennessee takes on Ole Miss November 18th on video seat pay-per-view. They left me in the kitchen. Yeah, guess I know who moves in first. I didn't think we looked very good on the first, uh, well, the second drive. First drive, we, we did stop them, but uh, we, I thought we adjusted pretty well. I thought our players adjusted pretty well. We, we thought they'd run a little bit more option than they did, and, uh, and they hurt us a little bit more inside than we anticipated, but we thought we did a good job of, uh, of making a few adjustments and tightening up and making them run the ball outside, and, and after that, you know, I thought we played fairly well. We had talked earlier in the week and, and expected Akron to come in here throwing the ball, and, and that they did. How did the secondary do today? I thought they played pretty well. I thought, our, uh, you know, there were some passes completed. Uh, the guy had a good arm. I mean, I think anybody watched the game, they had some good receivers. Uh, I thought we got a little bit better pressure. We took a few passes. We, we had a couple of interceptions. We wanted to touch down by Carl. And uh, I'll go around the ball a lot more and a few more hard hits. Coach, you mentioned, Carl, a lot of young guys getting a chance to play out there in the secondary. We, we tried to play too deep. And, I don't know the exact count of people we played in the first three quarters, but we played a lot of them, and some have been working very hard, and they're getting better. Uh, they have to get better. They're young, and I think some, maybe some of the veterans picked it up a little bit and took the challenge a little bit, and I thought we got back a little bit playing like we were uh, prior to the last two ball games. We're with Tennessee offensive coordinator Phil Fulmer, and Coach, had to be pleasing to you the way the, uh, the guys came out and, and scored on that very first possession. I was pleased with that. That always helps. You know, uh, we did the same thing against Georgia and we alerted our players that we had done that against Georgia and then not done as well uh, at times during the game so I think they kept their uh, intensity and, and I, really we got better as the game went on they, they gave us a lot of funny looks and, and, and we're gambling quite a bit and, and as we got as we, the game went on we got better at handling it I was real disappointed in the turnovers you know, that's something that we haven't done all year and something that we'll have to make sure it's corrected and I think more than anything it's just like concentration on our running back car 
problems with the with the pitch again today in the first half? Well, I think the one time we had the ball on the ground off of a sweep, um, and we're going to look at it again, we thought that maybe the, the backfield action or the fullback might have been a little slow getting out of his stance, and Andy had to kind of double clutch the ball, and, and I think in the future he's better off not even trying to make the pitch, just keep it himself, follow those blockers, and, and prevent a bad play rather than trying to make a play, if you know what I mean. And finally, in a game like this, is it, is it tough to keep the intensity level up, and especially in the second half? It, I'll tell you what, it shouldn't be, because when guys get a chance to play football for 60 minutes, they got to play from start to finish. So if the intensity does lack, that's not a good sign. And I don't think the intensity ever did stop. I think the guys played hard all the way until the very end, because we were still in a position to score points right at the end. And uh, no way did the guys who went in the game lay down or not play hard, because if they do, they won't play again, I'm sure. Tennessee improves to 7-1 and one with a 52-9 thrashing of Akron here at Neyland Stadium. John Ward and Coach Majors will be back in just one moment with more Big Orange Sunday. I know who moves in first. Mr. Clean. Baldy himself. Uh-oh. Lemon Fresh Mr. Clean cleans tough dirt and grime right to the shine with no dulling film. Make it shine, big guy. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. Well, let's start on the rest of the house. Couldn't we just live in the kitchen? Mr. Clean leaves nothing behind but the shine. Everybody's talking about Corky's, the exciting barbecue restaurant where food is slowly cooked in the old-fashioned southern tradition. Come dine in leisure, where attentive waiters will please your every whim. Or just go through our drive-in window for that same good food. Choose from our delicious mouth-watering ribs, wet or dry, barbecue pork or beef sandwiches, and delicious homemade desserts. Remember to call now to book your next catering for your office party, company picnic, or home gathering. That's Corky's Barbecue, cooking the old-fashioned way. Were you surprised? Surprised to turn four? No. I meant the party. It's the pizza. The heartburn. Mm-hmm. You know what they say about anchovies at your age. Anchovies don't get to be my age. Do we have any Pepto? Mm-hmm. Here comes the soothing relief of Pepto-Bismol, the one that coats is the only one you need. Feeling better? Like a kid again. Most of us would be healthier if it weren't for one thing. The common household sofa. It entices us. It traps us. It holds us down. Get up. Join the HealthPlex across from Baptist Hospital. You get custom fit with a medically supervised program that includes a fitness checkup, help with your diet, and safe energy building exercise. HealthPlex. Have fun while you conquer the sofa. I mentioned earlier in the show that uh, there were a lot of good aspects about that ball game, many, many of them. None bigger than the defense making progress, in my opinion. It couldn't happen at a better time. We're going to be really challenged the rest of the season, and particularly this coming week, where Ole Miss is fast standing quarterback, Darnell, and that people. But to have a championship caliber team, for us to get to that caliber right now, you've got to have it all the way around. You have to have defensive people turn the ball over to you, and that would happen to us Saturday. And that's the most encouraging thing about the entire ball game, in my opinion. Tennessee wins over Akron by a score of 52 to 9. Of course, it's November and winding down this exciting 1989 season in the Southeastern Conference. Some big games played over the weekend. The biggest, of course, probably was played at Baton Rouge on Saturday night. It was Auburn winning a non-conference game. Kentucky comes from behind to beat Vanderbilt. And so the Wildcats and Vanderbilt both on Tennessee schedule. Mississippi State, Georgia wins over Florida. Big game there. And of course, it was Alabama still unbeaten, beating LSU by a score of 32 to 16. They're now 6 and 0 in Southeastern Conference play. And that was uh, really not much of a contest. Uh, Alabama's defense makes a lot of difference. They have a, a, a good offense, but their defense makes a difference. They keep you off balance so much. Right now, they deserve to be where they are. Uh, they've got a real balanced team. They haven't looked too good against three or four teams they've beaten, but they've done what it takes. And so Alabama leads the Southeastern Conference. Tennessee has three conference games coming up, and it starts, of course, with Ole Miss, and this will be a key game for your football team. Without a question, uh, they're always a very tough football team. You know, and, uh, we can't control what Alabama does. They've got Auburn. They'll be a tough game at Auburn, but we can't do anything about that one, but we can control our own destiny as best, best we can and keep trying to get better 
and uh, the sick well, is no secret. The, uh, to be effective in November, we have to practice well, improve day to day, and I hope that our team will do it. I think they will. And so it'll be Tennessee against Ole Miss. The broadcast on the Vol Radio Network gets underway at 11.30 Eastern, 10.30 Central Standard Time with the kickoff call-in show. We invite you to visit us on campus as we begin the broadcast of the game. Till next week, for the coach of the volunteers, Johnny Majors. John Ward says, so long, everyone. utilities and pipeline companies throughout Tennessee, and by First America, where banking is still a people business.